the absolute hypocrisy of this government that were virtually silent when 30,000 people protested in the streets and they were not socially distant and they did breach the COVID guidelines. Meanwhile, businesses in my area, restaurateurs, were being threatened with fines of up to $6,000 if they did not keep their COVID plans. And they had take measures out across their restaurants where they were being told about how far they had to keep people apart and that if someone dared go up and order a drink from the bar, then that, re that restaurant could face a fine because they weren't supposed to do that. See, what we've heard from Labor today is a smokescreen, it's a hoax, it's a COVID cover-up. The fact that we saw this motion come before the parliament with barely any notice after all the arguments about how important it is to have time to debate is just an example. The parliament is a plaything of the hermit kingdom of Queensland under a premier who hides behind the, the excuses of uh, we're busy with COVID but does not want to be held accountable to this parliament to answer the questions about uh, the rules and regulations she has flip-flopped on and destroyed people's lives by her uncertainty. Her uncertainty. The fact that we had a COVID plan, recovery plan that indicated that the uh, state borders would be open in July. And then what, 10 days later or so, the Premier said it could be September or October. And then she's flip-flopped again lately and said, oh, I always said July, but she's still not confirming when those borders will open while businesses who had their phones ringing off the hook with holiday bookings suddenly faced where they went silent. And I've talked to many who were so distressed, crying, that they're facing a situation where they cannot get certainty. This government has let them down. This Labor government has badly let them down. Now we've got this drip feed flip flop of government grants. It's almost like they're throwing out chunks of meat to people who are caged inmates while this government has failed to listen to business about certainty, lead time, being able to support them with decisions that they know that they can rely upon. It is a disgrace, an absolute disgrace, the way our small business people are being treated. The grants that were thrown out there and then closed within days, I've had word back from people who still haven't heard about whether those applications have in fact been processed and whether they're successful. The new ones that have been announced, are we going to see it once again, the same thing where people have been led down a garden path and then let down because this government cannot manage process. They're treating people with a contempt that unfortunately as we we're starting to hear is pushing people over the edge, pushing them over the edge. We must keep people safe, but part of that's also about having an economic plan that looks after the mental health of everybody. And this government Do is failing I to call do that.